Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a one tick clock that can be shut off and turned on easily. So to begin, you want to make a 4x3 hole, like so. And then, once you get this, you want to make, take out this one block right here, and then in front of it, you want to take out two blocks, so it looks like this. And then, in the two deep hole, you want to place your piston, followed by a block above it. And then in this hole, you want to place a torch, then a repeater, some wire, another repeater, one here, more wire, even more, and then make it like this. So once you get to here, it will all look like that. Now, you want to build this little cover up. And this is required to build our next part. So now you should only have the two wires sticking out to be able to be seen. You want to place a button right here, and when you hit it, uh oh. Oh, I see what it did. I'm sorry. You want to dig a hole right here, then place a wire, and bring it out like so. Sorry about that. So now it should all look like this. And how it looks underneath, as you can see, is that. So once you get here, you want to place a button. You want to place wool, then a button, and you want to put some wire on top, followed by another block of wool. And then what this part is, this is a, a one tick shortener. It shortens the signal down to one tick instead of a normal button length. Oops. It just started by itself there. So this is the reset button, and then this is the start button. That's much simpler than starting up the normal way. It's a little bigger, but it's definitely worth the time if you're going to be constantly turning it on and off. Thanks for watching.